Yeah, welcome back to the next one. The weight of an object on the moon. We are going to calculate the weight of an object on the moon. Right? So we have the object, right? For that object, we are going to calculate the weight on the moon. Right? Right. And so we have seen what is called the force, right? Weight we are saying, right? So what is weight? The weight of an object on the moon attracts the object. Yes, the moon will also attracts the object. But remember that the mass of the moon is lesser than the earth. So how many times in a sense? 100 times it will be lesser than earth. 100 times it will be lesser than earth. So it exerts the lesser force of the attraction of on objects. Definitely the attraction of an object also is get reduces, right? So around it becomes uh, 1 by 4 times it will be reduced, right? And Again, I'm telling you, the weight of an object on the moon attracts the object. Moon will also attracts. The mass of the moon is lesser than the earth. 100 times it will be lesser than the earth. So it exerts the lesser forces of attraction on objects. How many times less in the sense? 1 by 4 times it will be lesser. Okay. Now coming back to here, with the mass of an object be m. So here I draw, this one is moon, this one is earth. Here we have object, right, m. So the object on the moon is um, m and uh, object weight on the moon be w suffix m so for this object mass is m and the weight of this object is w by m okay the weight of this object is w by m so the weight is w by m so this is one is mass this one is weight of this object and the mass of the moon be mass mass of the moon be m suffix m m small in stands for moon and the radius of the moon be r suffix m r stands for radius m stands for moon right so this one is called we are saying that the radius of the moon right r suffix m is for the radius of the moon right and you have studied in the last chapter universal law of constant right so what is called universal law of constant Universal law of constant, what is called? Yes, F is equal to G into M1, M2 divided by R square. So, G is universal constant, M1, M2 are two different objects and R is the distance between two objects. And here also, what are the two different objects we have? One is moon, right? And another one is the object. So, the weight of the object on the moon will be W suffix M. Why we need to replace this here first? W by M. Yes, the weight is the force, right? The weight is the force. So instead of force, we can write weight of the moon, right? Weight of the moon, W suffix M, M stands for moon, W suffix for weight, weight is equal to G, G, M1 we can consider as the small object. What is the small object mass? M, right? And M2 as the mass of the moon, right? The mass of the moon is M suffix M. So what is the distance between them? Yes, they are radius. So R suffix M whole square. Right? Okay. And this is for weight of the object on the moon. Right? Now, the same object is going to be placed in the earth, which has the same mass. Right? But the earth has a mass of capital M and it has a radius of, this one is radius. This one has the radius of earth, right? And similarly, the weight of the, the same object of the earth will be W suffix E. E stands for earth. W stands for weight, which is equal to G. Why we need to use M? Because the earth mass is we have taken as capital M. And what about the small object mass? That is same, right? Here and here also it is same, right? So the small M. And what is R? Yes, distance between the small object and the earth. So that is the radius of the earth. So what is the radius of earth here? R. So I can write W by E. So W suffix E is equal to G into capital M into small m divided by R square. Yes. So we have equation number 1, equation number 2, equation number 3. So from that we can compare the weight of the moon and the weight of the earth of an object. Yes, I hope.
you understand well yeah uh, we have derived three different equation right equation number 1 2 and 3 now we are going to use uh, equation number 2 and equation number 3 here for our calculation purpose so what is equation number 2 equation number 2 ways equation number 2 two ways w sub x m y of the moon w sub x m is equal to g into small m into m sub x m divided by r m square what is equation number 3 weight of earth weight of an object on the earth is w sub x e is equal to g into m into capital m divided by capital r square right so equation 2 is divided by equation number 3 so this is equation number 2 right this is equation number 3 so equation 2 is divided by equation 3 so what we can do so this m um, this g and this g will be cancelled right and this m and this m will be cancelled only we will have capital m suffix m divided by capital r suffix m r square in the numerator and divided capital m divided by capital r square right So as you know the maths concept, right? This is numerator. So for the division, up one is numerator, this one is denominator. In that numerator, we have numerator and denominator. And this part denominator. In that denominator, we have numerator and denominator, right? So what we can do? This denominator should come down to the denominator, right? So this denominator should come down here, and this denominator should goes to numerator. So this one is. numerator of denominator numerator of denominator this one is denominator of denominator right and this will go this will go down and this will go up according to the mass concept right so w m w suffix m divided by w suffix e is equal to capital m suffix m into r square because this r square should go up yes divided by divided by capital m into r capital r Divide suffix m r square capital R suffix m whole square right and I said very clearly the mass will be different right for moon and earth for comparing with earth moon will be the size is hundred times decreases and the attractive force also one by four times it will be reduces right so look at here be careful while solving this one here moon the mass of the moon with respect to earth therefore We should be one by hundred times. Mass of the earth only greater size, therefore hundred times, right? But look at here, here r square divided by r m square, right? So r square stands for earth, r m square stands for moon. Therefore, we should be four times, not one by four times. If it is like For the doubt, I am saying r m square divided by r square. That time you can write one by four whole square, right? But here the radius of Earth is greater than when compared to the radius of the Moon. Radius of the Moon is lesser than four times of radius of Earth. Or we can say that the radius of Earth is four times greater than the radius of the Moon. Therefore, I use four to four whole square. So one by hundred. Four square. What is four square? Sixteen by hundred. So cancel it by four. Four by twenty-five. So cancel it by four. So one four square one. Here it is cancelled by four. So twenty-five divided by four. So it will give us twenty-four. Six four square twenty-four. So six point one remainder zero. If you are simplifying, it will give six point two five. So one divided by six point two five. We can take it as one by six. Right. Therefore. The weight of the moon divided by the weight of the earth is equal to one by six times. Therefore, we can write the weight of the moon is equal to weight of the earth divided by six. I just cross multiply, right? So the weight of the moon is equal to weight of the earth divided by six times, right? I just cross multiply the weight of the earth on the right side. So the weight of the moon is equal to weight of the earth divided by six. So as in that, our weight is as in that my weight is seventy two kg in earth. Okay, then what is the weight of my weight in the moon? Twelve kg because we have the weight of the moon is equal to weight of the earth divided by six. So the weight of earth is seventy two. Seventy two by six is twelve kg. This is my weight in moon. So my weight in earth is seventy two kg. 
but my weight is in moon is 12 kg because 72 divided by 6 that will give us the weight of the moon. Yes, I hope you are all clear now. Hope you understood well. See you in the next video. Thank you.